Okay. And then by 92, you actually jumped into public office. So an opportunity presented itself in early 1992 with my father-in-law and the politics in his area, where he was searching for a candidate to run for the state legislature. Um, and I was asked by him if I'd be interested in running. And I always had an interest in government and politics because I had a history degree. And ever since I was a little boy, I, I read history books. So when this opportunity presented itself, I jumped at it. We fully expected that I was gonna lose. In fact, while we're doing this interview right now, the studio that I'm in was, is actually in that legislative district that I ran in, in a neighborhood called uh, the, the Ukrainian Village. And uh, the guy that I ran against had been a 12 year incumbent and he was supported by most of the political leaders on the Northwest side of the city and most of the powerful ward bosses. I had one, the one I, who was my father-in-law. But uh, I met a lot of good people in that campaign. I think I was pretty good at it. And uh, we worked real hard. It was really thrilling actually. And uh, you know, the first time is the most special one, at least that's been my experience. And uh, you know, we won that campaign, it was very local. And that was the beginning of my political career. And, and uh, you know, I look back on it and I'm glad I did it for the most part. On the other hand, after how it all ended, I, I would say that sometimes I've thought about, I should have just stayed as a lawyer practicing law. I think our lives would have been a lot simpler, probably a lot easier, a lot happier and a lot more lucrative. Okay, and then by 96, you actually didn't seek re-election because you ended up going to the con congressional district instead. So I ran for state representative twice, was elected twice, and then an opportunity to ran, uh, developed to run for the United States Congress. Dan Rostenkowski was a very prominent United States congressman. He had been the congressman from this area since 1959. And he was a the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, which is the most important committee in the United States Congress in the House. So he had been very powerful for a very long time and had close working relationships with something like, well, let's see, President Eisenhower, President Kennedy, President Johnson, President Nixon, President Ford, President Carter, President Reagan, President Bush, and then President Clinton. And then he was indicted. Uh, and, and then he was defeated by a Republican in 1994, which presented an opportunity for Democrats like me of the next generation to try to run for that congressional seat. So when that happened, that was an opportunity that if you let go, go by, you'll never get that chance again. You've got to seize your, your opportunities when they present themselves. So I was one of many Democrats who was very interested in running for that seat. After it all shook out, I won a hotly contested primary and then ran in the general election against the Republican incumbent and, uh, and I won and became the congressman. 